All right, welcome to the wood shop. Got a little bit of an update, sticker update that is. Yaya Hooven 66. Got your sticker. Got it here on the, uh, the old air compressor. Around with the rest of the fellas. So everybody's on here. Wait on one to go right there. I think I might have one on the way too, so that that will be going right there. So uh, thanks for all the videos. Um, recently, everybody's been pretty good lately, so I thought I would hit the record button myself and um, do that. So not much been going on here in the wood shop, but I did want to tell you about this. And uh, where the heck is? K Robinson too when you need him, but uh, what happened was they had installed um, they had installed the city installed new water meters, uh, those electronic kind at the house the other day, and so I um, I thought well, that's pretty neat, so I went down and looked at it. They didn't have to dig the yard up or anything. I don't. They just took it apart or whatever. So. I was doing it looking at it and I noticed that it was running very, very slowly. Just a tiny, tiny, just the little the little part was running very slowly. And so I went inside and checked and nothing was on, nothing was running and that sort of thing. So I shut off my water to the house. I have a shut off um, close to the house. I shut it off Well, it stopped. I was like, hmm. So I turned it back on while I started looking around. And I went up under the house. I didn't see anything. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So I came down here to the shop. Um, didn't find anything. Couldn't, couldn't do so. Um, later on that evening, I went outside. I have a shut off uh, for the shop, and I went down there, and the box was full of water. So I thought, okay, well now, now I'm getting somewhere. So I shut that water off. And so what I discovered was um, I had to dig about a foot under the slab of that and somebody had used pipe like this for it was coming up through the slab so it was sticking above and below the slab obviously so that was the water connection and at the bottom they had screwed on one of these and so when I got to it I turned the water back on and this had split right here and this pipe was so corroded that you know I couldn't have reused it I wouldn't have reused it anyway but I couldn't if I had wanted to it was so corroded well they had done that and this shop was built sometime in the eight early 80s and so obviously it's been leaking for some amount of time obviously it was pretty slow uh, leak because it was up under the shop and there was a lot of dirt packed around it, but it had it was very very wet under there. So I that's what I did this weekend uh, was doing a little plumbing and I um, you know I started to make a video and I thought who wants to watch me digging the mud, uh, which is exactly what it was. And so but anyway, I got it fixed. Uh, eventually got it fixed. Got you shut off. Got all new. Um, plumbing under there and got it all fixed up so where was K Robinson when I needed him probably should have called him probably charged me a hundred dollars an hour or something plus mileage jackass so anyway just kidding so anyway that's what I've been working on um, just doing that so kind of getting ready for the holidays uh, wrapping some stuff up at work but that's about it with me and um, that's about it so uh, appreciate it um, Appreciate the stickers and appreciate the videos. Get one last little shot of all that. So appreciate everybody doing all that. Um, good to see Dan Electro back today. Saw that one, so that one's great too. And um, also the sign man, John. That um, I was that bed liner really turned out nice. So I was glad to see that. And of course, BW Darren with that motor. Um, sorry it got wet, buddy. And Bill's been pretty good having some good videos too. So. I uh, hate to leave everybody out, but I could actually mention most everybody on here. In fact, everybody could be mentioned on this with the exception of uh, Alberta Climber and the old dude, which I've seen the old dude watching videos, so he's out there. We just got to convince him to make another one, right? Okay, so hope everybody has a good evening and uh, take it easy.